Hello, welcome, my name is Jamie, and today we're going to read a story, Lubna and Pebble, by Wendy Medauer and Daniel Egnius. Pay close attention, it looks like a boat. Lubna's best friend was a pebble. It was shiny and smooth and gray. Lubna found it on the beach when they arrived in the night. Then she fell asleep in daddy's salty arms. When Lubna opened her eyes, it was morning. They had landed in a world of tents. Lubna clutched Daddy's hand and gripped her pebble. Somehow, she knew they'd keep her safe. In a big white tent, Lubna found a felt tip pen. She drew a happy face on her pebble. Hello, pebble, whispered Lubna. Pebble smiled back. Lubna told Pebble everything about her brothers, about home, about the war. Pebbles all, Pebble always listened to her stories. Pebble always smiled when she felt scared. I love you, Pebble, Lubna said with a sigh. Then the winter arrived. The winds began to blow. The tents began to flap. Daddy said, come close, I'll keep you warm. But Lubna was worried. What if Pebble gets cold? That must never happen, said Daddy. He went and found a shoebox and a tea towel. Thank you, Lubna grinned. Then she put Pebble to bed and kissed it good night. Soon, a little boy arrived. At first, he had no words just blinks and sneezes and stares. This is my best friend, Pebble, Lubna said. The little boy coughed and sneezed, then smiled. Hello, Pebble, my name's Amir. Lubna and Amir became friends. They played hide and seek underneath the stars. But at bedtime, Lubna whispered to Pebble, you are still my best friend. One day, Daddy was beaming. We are leaving, we have found a new home. Lubna felt happy and sad. Amir cried. That night, Lubna couldn't sleep. She asked Pebble what to do. Pebble didn't answer. But by morning, Lubna knew. Lubna gave Amir the shoebox with Pebble and the pen. What do I do if Pebble misses you? Asked Amir. Draw the smile back on, said Lubna. And what do I do if I miss you? Tell Pebble all about it. Lubna said, and Amir nodded and held the shoebox tight. Goodbye, Pebble, Lubna whispered. Here she goes. Hello, Pebble, Amir said. And now it's his turn.
the end. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Lubna and Pebble. And I was thinking about the story and what a kind friend she was, especially when she realized that her friend needed the pebble more than she did. And I was thinking about that idea. And so I found a little pebble and I found a marker. And I thought, you know, it's really simple. It's fun to make one for yourself, but wouldn't it be nice to make one for someone else and to give it away? That's another idea. Hello. One of the things that inspired me about Lubna and the pebble was um, thinking about pebbles and stones and rocks. And I have a song about a pet rock. And you can take a long rock or a chunky rock or a small rock. I chose a rock that I painted like a rainbow and I put a little smiley face on it. And when I was younger, we called them pet rocks, just like Lubna had a pet rock. And now we're gonna sing a song about a pet rock. Are you ready? Here we go. Hold your, hold your rock. Put your rock on your heart, on your heart. Put your rock on your heart, on your heart. Put your rock on your heart. What a lovely way to start. Put your rock on your heart, on your heart. Put your rock on your knee, on your knee. Put your rock on your knee, on your knee. Put your rock on your knee and you'll be filled with glee. Put your rock on your knee, on your knee. Put your rock on your toes, on your toes. Put your rock on your toes, on your toes. Put your rock on your toes, then move it to your nose. Put your rock on your toes, on your toes. Put your rock on your head, on your head. Put your rock on your head, on your head. Put your rock on your head, then put your rock to bed. Put your rock on your head, on your head. And that's it. Hello again. Another way that I was inspired by Lubna and her pebble is I love to collect stones and small pebbles on the beach. And these are an assortment of some of the stones that I've collected over the years. And one of the things I love to try to do is to take them and look at the sizes and the shapes if they're flat or if they're bumpy and I like to build with them and see about balancing some stones in a tower and these towers actually have a name Ooh, that might not work let me see if I could do that Ooh, maybe you take a, a bigger one you think it'll work <gasps> I don't know I might have to get a different one to put on top let's see maybe I'll put that one these are called cairns, and you might like to try this with different sized rocks if you ever go to the beach or stream side or lake side and you see some stones or maybe in your own backyard. Another fun thing I love to do at the beach where I've collected a lot of my stones is sometimes I make an imprint in the sand. Today I've just used chalk to make consecutive circles around and around and I've used my black stones and my white stones and I'm making a pattern and I'm going round and round. I've also got some speckled stones that I can start in an inner circle and go round and round. I love making different kinds of patterns. You might like to try that as well. And then I've even collected some rose colored stones and maybe I'll try to put those at the innermost circle. When you make designs like this, another word for it is called mandala, and you can make them too. And like I said, I like to play with this when I'm at the beach, but you can also play with it right in your own backyard or in your own front yard like I am now with chalk and my stone collection. So I hope you'll have as much fun with your stones, pebbles, and rocks as I did. Bye.